What are other key business points of advice that you could share for that for that entrepreneur who's navigating the roller coasters of starting a business? Well, for most entrepreneurs, the brand reflects something that you care about. So you know the so if you are the entrepreneur, you know the brand better than anybody else. You know it because it reflects you and something that you are passionate and excited about. Mm. So as you grow and as you're growing, do not be persuaded by anybody that comes in with any kind of degree. I didn't go to college, I went to beauty school. So I certainly have no expertise. But don't be persuaded by somebody who says, Well, you know, you've done a really good job up until now and We've got it from mm -hmm. here because you know we really know what we're doing. They don't know the brand as well mm -hmm. as you do. You be your brand missionary. Right in the beginning and all the way through. You hire people who believe in that dream. Don't, do not hire the resume. Mm -hmm. You can have a resume of a rock star, but if you've got a bad attitude, you don't want them in your company. Especially in the beginning, especially the first, you know, six people that you're hiring, which as an entrepreneur generally would be your family and friends. Mm -hmm. However, after them, um, you need to hire people who are dream believers because they will be your early missionaries. I don't, I don't care. I know it's hard, but I don't care how talented the person is coming in, how great their background is. If they're not a fit for you from a chemistry point of view and they're not lit up and on fire, not in the early days, you can't, you can't afford it. Every penny <clears throat> counts and that person is, have, they must be a dream believer and you've got to be ruthless about it. And you dig in and, and seek out that real reveal of their personality. I want them lit up. I want them saying to you, somebody doesn't ask for the job before they leave in an interview, I don't want them. I want them to say before they leave, this is my whole mm -hmm. thing, I wait for it, for someone to say, you know what, Jane, I just want to tell you, I really want to be here. I really want this job, and I really hope you're hiring me. Something like that, because I love hearing that. The other thing is, as good as they are at that interview, that's as good as it gets. It's as good as they're ever going to look. It's as excited as they're ever going to be. Do not think, do not say to yourself, you know, I saw a glimpse of excitement. I think, you know, I could nurture, pull that out. No, no, that was them lit up. So if you were underwhelmed, it does not get better after the interview. You need somebody who is lit up. Right. Hire the person, not, not, the, uh, not the resume. Yeah.